Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today in the series of digital documentation, we'll be discussing the second chapter of this unit, which is working with images. So when we are creating a document, we generally include some kind of graphics in those documents to give a better understanding or to make our document visually more appealing. Plus, whenever you see an image, that retains in your brain for longer than any textual content. Now, how can we define images? Images are these digital pictures which can be represented in the form of pixels. Now, these pixels can have values from 0 to 255. And these are stored in the various formats like it can be a JPG file, PNG file, BMP file or GIF files. Now in LibreOffice Writer, we have four ways of inserting images. Sometimes these questions can come in exam, in your board exams. They can ask you the various ways through which you can insert an image. So the first way of inserting an image is by using the insert button. You can locate this button on top and come to image option. It is going to open this dialog box from where you have to select the image that you want to insert and you can simply see the image getting inserted in your document. The second method is drag and drop. So what you have to do, you have to locate your image and drag this to your writer document. And afterwards you can do whatever you want to, you can place it wherever you wish to. The next method is using the copy paste method. For this you have to locate your image, right click on that image, select the copy option and paste it in your writer document and as per your requirements you can do the editing on that. The fourth way is by creating links to the image. What we will do here is that we will be creating only a reference to that image. For this you have to select insert image and at the bottom you will see this link option. You have to select that option and now you can simply insert or select that image. You will see that it is going to also tell you that what kind of uh, image you want, whether you want to create or insert the entire image or just the link. So this reduces the size of the document as it is only inserting the link here. Now we have seen the various ways through which we can insert an image. Let us now move ahead with the next topic which is the image toolbar. How do we modify the image? So there is this toolbar which is present in the view tab under toolbars. Here you can see the various options through which you can actually modify your image. Modification like you can add some filters, some kind of modes you can change. You can flip your images, crop your images. All of those will be present on this toolbar. Maybe you want to change the RGB level. Okay, so all of those things will be here. So step by step, we'll see each one of them. And these topics are very important from the exam point of view. Some questions can be framed like in MCQs, you can get some questions or otherwise also it plays a very important role. So in your book, wherever these topics are mentioned, please read or learn every word of this page. So firstly, let us understand the graphics filters. We are having 11 filters here. Each of them are unique in their own ways. So we will see them practically once. So this is the drawing toolbar. Here you will find the graphics filter. First is invert. So invert is going to invert the colors. Second is smooth. You can change the uh, values here. Increase and decrease and you will feel that, you know, it has softened the contrast. Next is sharpen. It increases the contrast of the image. You'll not find any difference, but as you keep clicking on this button, you'll see the difference. Like now, if I am pressing, you will see the image has changed. The contrast level is increasing here. Okay. Next, we have the remove noise option, which is going to remove the single pixels from the image. Next, solarization, which mimics the effect of too much light in the picture. Next we have aging. Aging is when or what is the effect of the uh, time on this image. Next is posturize. Posturize is going to reduce the color. Next 
we have pop art this is how it goes and then we have charcoal which displays the charcoal sketch and then relief relief is going to create shadows you can change uh, these points and see the uh, source of light okay this is how it is going to come up next we have mosaic mosaic is going to join the adjacent pixels so group them together and you can see the difference okay it's it is joining into one single color now here is the summary of all these tools along with their effects on the image you can take a screenshot of this or you can learn this using your book also let us now understand the graphics mode so we are having three graphics mode here one is grayscale black and white and watermark so one by one we can see this practically grayscale is going to turn your image into a gray or shades of gray i'll say black and white is black and white image and watermark is it's going to give more transparency to your image next is drawing objects now sometimes when you are creating your writer document you want to insert some shapes you want to insert rectangle circle so for that purpose we require this drawing toolbar now we will practically see how this is going to help us in our practical applications so at the bottom you will find the drawing toolbar from here you can select the various options like i have selected a line here a line and you can uh, change the the extreme ends of this line you can also change the way it appears you can have dashed lines or dotted lines you can change the thickness you can add color to it so all of those things can be done uh, if you want to insert some shapes those things can also be done whichever shape you want to insert you can simply select them and draw drag and drop method is going to use be used to insert those images now as per your choice whatever you feel you can just select them go through them once and you can choose any of these shapes you can change the color you can fill colors to this you can also have some different kind of patterns also not necessary that only solid colors have to be filled you can select a different style also a pattern can also be filled so we have various designs here so one by one you can select them and apply them to see what kind of effect it is going to have on that shape so like i have uh, even chosen gradients here gradients can also be added it's like two colors are mixed and they give a shadow effect you can use uh, call outs call outs are basically you can see them in the comic books where when a character is thinking speaking something so we use these kind of shapes so those can also be added again you can fill colors or some kind of Uh, effect or patterns can be added here so as per your choice you can just select the category and you'll get the related options on the right side so you simply select and that effect will be added to your shape now the next topic is grouping of the drawing objects sometimes when you are inserting many shapes you want the same uh, format on all those shapes so what you can do is instead of you know applying those formats separately we can make a group of these objects and whatever formats we want to apply whether we want to move them that can be done all together so it is going to be treated as a single object and whatever formatting you are going to apply on one single shape the others will also get the same format now if we practically see this so like uh, these shapes have been inserted you can select them click the shift button or press the shift button and then you can see that it is going to form a group okay now right click and then you can click on the uh, again i'm doing this so right click and click on group option and from there it is going to be treated as a group now now you can uh, format it let's say i'm changing the color of this so you can see it is getting applied on the these three shapes why that fourth shape is left because it is not a part of that group you can move this around and this is can this uh, can be moved separately okay so this is how we do formatting you can try different formatting features here as per your choice 
as we form groups by right clicking the same thing can be used the same steps can be used to ungroup them also so whenever you want to ungroup your uh, shapes you can right click and there's this option of ungrouping so you can select that and they will return back to individual items now there is a very important topic in this chapter which is positioning images in the text that means if my document has an image or it and it also has some text in this so how are you going to arrange them together so for that we have four settings or you can remember four options these are called as arrangements anchoring alignments and text wrapping so these four options are extremely important from exam point of view so my request to you is that you should learn the definition and remember some of the points because these questions can come in your um, mcq form also so practically try and use all these options uh, many questions come from arrangement and uh, text wrapping so you have to be uh, clear that which option helps you in which kind of formatting okay so remember and learn these points so one by one we'll see these let's say the first one is arrangement so i have inserted few shapes here i am uh, coloring the first shape with some other color so that it is easier for you to understand and relate okay one more square has been inserted so we are giving another color for this okay so you can give different colors to these shapes so that you can understand that how arrangement is done i am just doing this with the images okay with the shapes so now what you have to do right click and there is this option of arrange now i am clicking on the first shape and sending it to back so you can see the difference now that it is stacked behind every shape then back one is going to move the uh, shape back once back okay then you can arrange various shapes according to the options which is given so this is how arrangement of shapes is done okay so this can be done along with text also so this is how you stack your images next is text wrapping so i have inserted an image you can insert image with some text to understand this and then right click wrap and all these options will be available so you can uh, check these one by one like after through so you can move your image along the text or in the background you want the image so all these options are going to wrap your image how my image is going to be wrapped around the shape or uh, text next right clicking and there or double clicking on this image will also give you all these options so with this uh, you can see various text wrapping options next is uh, alignments alignment means how you are going to align your images horizontally vertically in a document so the same steps can be used you simply select the image click on the align button and you'll get these options like left center right top so however you want to align your image along with the text you can do that last one here is anchoring anchoring is that the image whenever you insert an image you'll see an anchor a small anchor on top this is going to help you position the image okay so we have four options here one is to the page you can anchor you can set your image to the page to paragraph to character as character so this uh, definition these definitions are important and you should remember the options related to it with this we complete the second chapter of digital documentation that is working with images if you have any doubts any queries you can write them in the comment section and i would definitely be replying them so thank you everyone for supporting and watching till the end thank you so much